Hello and welcome to Lesson Tilla. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can use Microsoft Endpoint Manager, or some people call it Intune, it's essentially the same thing, to use Intune to deploy a script to your um, Intune enrolled devices. Um, in this particular example, I'm going to um, deploy a script that will change the desktop background or the wallpaper of um, this particular device. Um, if you guys want a copy of this script, um, give me a comment uh, below and I will um, share the script with you as well. Um, so without further ado, let's go ahead and see how it's done. Um, in here, as you can see, I've logged into uh, my Endpoint Manager or Microsoft Intune Portal. Um, from here, um, click on Devices, scroll down until you find Scripts. So click on Scripts. We're going to add a script depending on your operating system. You can choose which option you want to go with. In this particular example, I've got a Windows 10 virtual machine. Um, so I'm just going to select Windows 10. And here, give it a name. So I'm just going to say change wallpaper. Go next, select the script file. And in here, this is an important setting. This lets you decide whether you want to run the script as the logged on user or you want to run the script as the system. Now, depending on your script or depending on what you're trying to achieve, this is something that you have to decide. Um, but for this particular example where I'm deploying um, or changing the wallpaper um, of a, a device, I'm just going to run it as a logged on user because it's customized per user. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and click yes. These two settings, 99% of the time, you can just leave them as no. Um, it's not very um, critical for your operation. So let's just go ahead and click next. All right, in here, you're going to define to what um, set of users or what set of devices um, that you're going to deploy the script. So in this example, since this is just a test environment, I could either select um, add all users or add all devices based on the script that you're running, you may want to choose one or the other. Sometimes, just like um, group policies, um, depending on what outcome you want to get and um, your deployment needs. Um, it could be at all users, it could be at all devices, it could be a, just a specific um, group of, uh, or a subset of your um, users or, or devices as well. Um, so for now, I'm just going to select add all users. So these are the all uses that are included. Um, exclusions, I don't have any um, exclusions, so I'm just going to leave that as it is. Let's go next and click Add. That's all. Once the um, script is deployed, you will see these um, notifications. And that's all you have to do. And let me just take you to my virtual machine and show you how it's looking now. So this is just a standard Windows um, desktop wallpaper. Um, one thing to keep in mind is um, there's no way to, as far as I know, there's no way that you can um, run a script sort of immediately on a device when you deploy it through Intune or Endpoint Manager. Um, so to facilitate that you what you could do to, to, to make it fast what you could do is you could sign out from your um, machine and sign back in um, I think the default um, time is every half an hour and it'll try I think to a maximum three times um, and after that it's not going to try um, unless you go to the script endpoint manager and actually resave it then it'll run it again um, all right, so I've signed out, so I'm just going to sign back in again. Um, and we'll give it a couple of minutes and see what the result is like. Um, I don't want to keep you guys waiting, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and pause the video now. 
Um, because as I said before, it could be a minute, it could be five minutes. Um, let's pause the video for now. Um, and once it has made the change, it's changed the wallpaper, I'll um, start the video again. All right, that was actually very quick. Um, as soon as I pressed the pause button, it actually went ahead and changed the wallpaper. Um, as you can see, it uh, has changed successfully, which means the script has run uh, without any issues. Um, so I will show you how to check the status as well. Um, so let's go back to devices. I'm just showing you from the start. So just come back and click on scripts as, uh, just like before. Um, click on the script and then um, in here it'll update based on um, the device or the user depending on how you ran it. Um, just come in here and here and once uh, I'm not going to wait for this to update because it can take a few minutes uh, but if you want to check the status you can come in here and see if it's failed it will tell you it's failed if it was successful it would say um, it was successful yeah it hasn't updated yet all right guys I hope you um, learned something new today um, as I mentioned before if you um, want me to share this script to change the wallpaper if you like that script uh, put a comment uh, below and um, I'll reach out to you um, with the script. Um, otherwise, thanks for watching. Please consider giving this a thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed yet, please um, subscribe to my channel. Um, I'll be posting weekly uh, videos like this. Thank you. Have a great day. Bye-bye.